It was a night of tributes as Nigerian women from across the country convened at the banquet hall of the presidential villa Abuja to bid farewell to Nigeria's first lady, Dempatience Jonathan. Led by wives of state governors, almost everyone had something to say about the first lady and the wife of the vice president, Hajia Amina Sambu. Many women love you. Nigerian women celebrate you. African women pride with you. Many, I have to thank you for bringing out the women, most especially in the world. Women are not allowed into politics, but with our help in the state, we are able to have senators, House of Representatives. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. You have done so much for women in Nigeria. You have lifted women up with you. Normally, they say women are their own enemies. In your case, you did everything you could to lift women up in Nigeria. Thank you, Ma. The wife of the Vice President, Hajia Amina Sumbu, also joined them in thanking the First Lady for leading the way, but said the success achieved should be the stepping stone for greater things. We pray for the peace and unity of this nation. We pray for sustainability and we pray for the incoming government. I want us all to be united as much as we have a key role to play. For them, Patience Jonathan, the Nigerian woman is a symbol of hope for the nation. She thanked the woman for supporting her. This success could not have been possible without your cooperation. Let me once again thank Nigerian women for their unflinching support for the outgoing administration. Meanwhile, the First Lady has asked Nigerians to continue to pay attention to child upbringing as it forms the character of the society. She said this when she attended the child education service of Mr. and Mrs. Linus Okori at the Holy Trinity Catholic Church, Metama Abuja. I am Makut Simon Macham, NTA News.